one Anoop here with K1 champion, or was it K1 legend now? It's been five years since you won the K1 Max. Myrtle Groenhart, who's defeated Harak Gagorian here at Glory 42 Paris. Now, there's a massive amount of controversy around the manner in which you won. The fan, you know, a lot of people weren't happy. There was a, a ring invasion. You got yeah. jumped, basically, which wasn't very nice to see. How are you from, you know, from, from the onslaught there? You, were, you had your guard up, you're trying to protect yourself, but how are you first from what happened after the fight? Uh, I was good. I was, uh, you know, I was sharp. Trained hard for this. He trained hard for this. Um, he was sharp, you know, he was fighting for the number one spot. Yeah. So, uh, I was good. I was feeling great. But getting jumped after a fight from someone who's a spectator as opposed to a fan, you know, how, now you've had a, few, a couple of hours, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it was not nice, it was stupid from the, from the guy to do that, you know, he's, uh, it was too emotional. If you're too emotional to a fighter who has to fight, don't come watch the fight, stay home, don't do this kind of things, you know, it's, uh, it's stupid, it's not nice, because there are little kids at home are watching these kind of fights. Mm -hmm. Fans at home are watching these fights, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not what we need. Now, the manner in which you won, um, Harak Gorin turned his head. The referee was allowing the fight to continue because it's within the rules. Unless somebody takes a knee or was in obvious da danger, then the fight doesn't get stopped. Yeah. You exploited that, he turned his head. When you saw him turn away, what was the first thing that came to your head before you hit him with the right hook? Um, after the knee. I, after I give him the left knee, he stand there. He, after the, he make a move mm -hmm. to the left, think to the left. Yeah, I can ride in, and I gave him the right hook. That was my that was my my my, my focus. You know, I gave him the the left knee. He turn, I gave him the right hook. You know, he was in the heat heat of the game. Yeah. You know, when you're in the heat of the game, you cannot uh, hold back. Mm -hmm. It's, it's impossible, but in the heat of the game you go. I gave him the left knee, palm. He turned around, I gave him the right hook. I chased him with the right hook and that's it. It, it is protect yourself at all time. The referee always says this uh, at the rules meeting. The, you know, glory God, they say this, protect yourself at all time. He did not protect himself at all time. You know, that was the one little mistake he made. And I was sharp, he was sharp, but he was not that sharp at that moment because he turned away. And I gave him the hook. So people call it cheap shot, but it's not a cheap shot, you know, because he just turned away and in uh, the heat of the game, I gave him the right hook. You cannot call this a cheap shot. You have to be sharp at any moment, any time. You know, so there are no cheap shots unless the referee is coming in and when the referee is between you guys and you hit him, that's a cheap shot. This is not a cheap shot. Fair enough. Would you be, I mean, Nick Hammers was, was quite calm about everything afterwards. Would you be um, open to a rematch like Nick Hammers um, suggested would be open? I told them I'd be open for a rematch. You can, you can do a rematch afterwards, um, you know. So, listen, for the fans at home, I spoke hard right after the fight. He came to me and he said, you know, he said, congratulations, you know. So, and um, he said, uh, you won, you know. Sorry for the guy who came after you, but uh, it's not how it's supposed to be. You was the sharper one, you know. So we talked and everything was okay. Harwood is a, is a great fighter. He's one of the top fighters here, Harwood. And everybody knows that, you know. Um, I was a sharp fighter this night. Yeah, you know? it, was, it was a tough fight. It was a good fight. Um, it was, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a very enjoyable fight, a lot of electricity about it, and it is what it is. Almost obvious question, I'm keep repeating this line now. Where does Myrtle Groenhart go from here? From here, I go on holiday first, just uh, because three weeks ago I also fought, and uh, now it's time to, you know, let the body recover, very important. And then I get back in the uh, in the in the gym to prepare myself for Doom Day. I'm coming, baby. I'm <laughs> yeah. coming. You got that title fight. Um, what did you yeah. think of Cedric Doom Bay against Nicky Holes in the rematch tonight? Doom Bay won it by split decision. What do you think of the the result? Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, you know Doom Bay just like his last fight against Nicky. He won a lot, make his points, making his points, you know, and doing this kind of tricks, you know. Mm. 
Um, and I, I had the feeling Nicky was chasing him a little bit. He didn't cut him off. You know, he was chasing him a little mm. bit and also make his points. He, I didn't saw any any explosivity, explosivity, expo, uh, you know, explosiveness. Explosive. Yeah. I didn't saw nothing of that. You know? And it was it was a shame. You know, this guy you have to press him. You have to sometimes come with some explosion punches and. You just have to make them tired. Do you think, um, you know, uh, myself and Roberto, MA Plus, we were talking about this. We, 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 it was not something that Roberto said. Do you think perhaps the amount of boxing that Nicky Helton's been doing in recent years has um, affected his, his kickboxing performances, maybe? Maybe. It's possible. I don't know that. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But. Maybe not. Maybe are they're just guys who and, um, watch Nikki a lot and 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 and, uh, and see his style, mm. watching his style. You know, maybe they are just enough and uh, watching his style and see how he moves and train on that. You know, yeah. doesn't have nothing to do with his boxing skills or something. Um, yeah. Maybe guys knows how, 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 how he's fighting. Cool. So. One last question. Jordan Piquet, I caught up with him moments ago. Yeah. Obviously, you've won the K1, Max, yeah. in years gone by. He's going out to K1 World Grand Prix. 70 kilos. Yeah, man. Most, as you know, the most prestigious tournament there is in kickboxing, it's fair to say. Yeah. Um, how do you think, uh, how, in your opinion, how has Jordan come on, Jordan Piquet, in the last year, especially win the cross championship, and what and what do you fancy of his chances in the K1 World Grand Prix? I think he's done good jobs in the in the K1, and I think he can make a definitely chance winning this K1 Grand Prix. Uh, he's and uh, <coughs> he's going on, he's pushing himself to a high level all the mm. time. With training also, you know, so I think he will, and, um, he just got to keep that focus, that's important, keep that focus, and I think he will do a good job at the K1 Grand Prix, you know, you see all these guys, we all train with each other, Chris, uh, Masato, we all keep each other sharp, you saw the the, 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 the fights to this night, the, tonight, yeah. all crazy fights, all good fights, man, we keep each other sharp, and, you know, we all go for the win, so, uh, <clears throat> Jordan is next to go. Awesome, cool. Social media, where can everyone find and follow you? You can find me on Instagram, uh, Groenat86. You can find me on Twitter, Myrtle G. You can find me on Facebook, Myrtle Groenat. Find me on, I have my Facebook page, uh, TGT, the yep. Groenat team. And you can find me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and also hashtag the K1 Hip Show. We've done some, we've done some couple of good podcasts, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we've done some podcasts. Also. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, everyone, share this, like it, follow, subscribe to K One Hoop YouTube channel and the Facebook page at K One Hoop, Twitter and Instagram too for plenty of more coverage and insight from world kickboxing and who knows where else next yeah, one might turn baby. up. <laughs> Cheers, Don't mate. Miss it. Thank Thanks, you. Man.